All right. I am a massive fan of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle franchise. Just in general. This sword has nothing to do with that. Um, but yeah. No, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is one of my personal favorite franchises just of all time. I love the comic books, the different adaptations of the show, and the movies. Yes, even the Michael Bay ones. I find enjoyment in how stupid those movies are. But there is one version of the TMNT, at least in the movie-verse, that I think rises above all others, and that is the original 1990 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle film, which is technically an indie movie. Fun fact. Yeah, apparently no one would actually uh, pay to produce the, a movie based on the stupid, dumb, childish cartoon at the time. So the original film was an indie movie. Fun. Uh, it was mostly made on its own until uh, it got picked up by another studio. Uh, Torchlight, I think. Not 100% positive on that. Yes. The original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle film is probably my favorite movie version of the Turtles. And that's because it's just a hell of a lot of fun. It's highly entertaining. The m plot is engaging. All the characters are fun. Uh, it has my personal favorite character from the Turtles, Casey Jones, in it. And you know what? April's a fucking boss in this movie. Kind of. Hey, look, it's better than in the cartoon where she just doesn't do shit. Whenever April gets attacked, she either tries running away because she knows she can't handle the situation herself, or when the Foot Clan attack her, she straight up pulls a sigh on them. When that gets kicked away from her, she takes her purse and just starts beating them with it. I mean, yeah, she gets her ass knocked out, but that's because it's like... 8 to 1 in that fight scene? I'm sorry, she's getting her ass handed to her even if she could fight better in this movie. Hell, but beyond that, the turtles are just fun. It feels like, honest to God, a combination of the original comics with the, with the 80s and 90s cartoon series, which is so much fun. Because in the 80s and 90s, the cartoon was dumb. It was really dumb. I actually don't like the original cartoon very much. That is something for a different video. But one of my biggest issues with the original cartoon is that April serves as a plot device to get kidnapped, to get the turtles into whatever situation the writers wanted the turtles to get in. Which is dumb. It's really, really dumb. But hey... In this version, she can at least do things on her own. She has agency as a character. Hell, there are multiple times when she gets told to back off from a story about the Foot Clan, and she refuses to because, hey, that's the angle. It apparently makes sense in this world. But, yeah. And, actually, that is one thing I do have to gripe at this movie. How the fuck is the Foot Clan kept a secret? Seriously, there are multiple points where apparently there are a number of Japanese immigrants who are reminded of these actions of the Foot Clan, which is supposed to be some super secret ninja clan. But yeah, no, they find, like, there are a bunch of Japanese immigrants reminded of the Foot Clan, so April takes up that angle, and then the Foot Clan decides to try and kill her. You are the worst secret ninja clan in existence. The hell? Beyond that, the Turtles each have a very distinct personality in this movie. You have Leonardo, who's pretty much the all-rounder character. He is the leader of the group, and he just wants everyone to be together, to be able to get along, and it makes sense for his character. Raphael is much more burly and angry in this movie, and it set off his character arc of he's much more willing to take a loner stance very quickly if he has to. Mikey is the more wide-eyed, childish of the group, and that's represented in both his design and the way he acts. He... <sighs> There's a point in the movie where Mike, Mikey, when they get attacked by the Foot Clan, his initial response is he starts getting into a showboating contest with another guy using nunchucks. 
Donatello, he's probably the least muscular looking, but he's also the smartest and most contemplative of the group. Each character, their designs of all the turtles match their personality, and so do their personalities, and it's so cool to see. Plus, this movie's just fun. I don't care what anyone says, this movie is one of the most fun rides I've had with a movie in a long time. And yes, I've seen this multiple times, I haven't seen it in a while, and oh my god, this movie is so much fucking fun. Seriously, there are so many moments, ah man, like, when Casey first shows up in this movie, like, like and becomes like a staying character, <laughs> it's great, cause like, the fight starts. And then as soon as, like, they go to attack Casey, one of the ninja, one of the Foot Clan, runs by Mikey and just kicks him in the stomach. Like, just, he runs up and side kicks him and then continues at Casey. It is amazing, and I love that moment. It's just great. But, is there anything wrong with this movie? I would argue that there might be a couple of things wrong with it. The plot goes by very quickly. Th that's not necessarily a bad thing, depending on your view. But, there are a lot of convenient things that happen within the movie to get the plot going. The first one is that Raphael drops one of his sighs at the very beginning of the movie. Uh, when he knocks the he when he beats the shit out of the foot, not only does one of them not get knocked out, which doesn't make sense because Raph would knock everyone out, but he follows them and Raph doesn't notice. Uh, after the turtle's hideout is completely destroyed, they come back and find it empty and Splinter gone. The next day, Danny just happens to see Michelangelo in the mirror. Casey just happens to see Raphael on the roof. So he just happens to show up while the foot are attacking. It's just coincidence after coincidence that makes the plot happen and that's totally fine but for me I would have preferred something a little more logical um, if that makes sense not logical like it can't function logically more logical like how they found X thing and did blah um, occurred because it's not explained honestly Shredder's plan isn't even explained in this movie like does he want to take over the city eventually or what because they don't explain that his plan is kind of just build up the foot clan and that's it it is literally not explained because he's like this talk of family is like, you're our family, this is your family now, you, you will follow me because rah, 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 rah. But he doesn't explain what he wants to do. It's not explained at all. The only reason he is the villain is because apparently he doesn't like the idea of the turtles or the giant rat being able to fight him and kick the shit out of his men. Yeah admirable but what's your plan exactly do, do you want to take over the town or do you want to like take over the world or what explain you fucking idiot also shredder's cape is fucking ridiculous <laughs> no seriously that is the most ridiculous fucking cape i've ever seen it looks like goddamn tinfoil shredder is constantly high I, that's the only explanation for all of his actions in this movie. He is constantly on drugs. But, yeah. This movie's just a lot of fun. It's greatly entertaining to watch, and it's a lot of fun. Also, the very end shows how uh, the turtles got the catchphrase. Apparently, Splinter was partial to Cowabunga. I have always liked... Cowabunga. Huh? But, yeah, that's all I really have. I kind of just wanted to talk about one of my favorite movies. Thoughts, ups, downs, it's just every thought in between that I have on this film. 
not in a super long video or a super complex video. I just wanted to talk about it. Also, I needed to get a video out this week, but yeah. Anyway, uh, tell me your guys' thoughts on the original 1990 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie. If you've seen it, haven't seen it, if you like it as much as I do or not, let me know all of your thoughts in the comments down below. Anyway, I hope that you all enjoyed that video. If you'd like to follow me on either Twitter or Instagram links to both of those are going to be in the description down below as always. And I hope that y'all have a fantastic day. Cowabunga. And as always, peace out, guys. Mm -hmm.